G'day, this is Captain Uber. This is the Gamma Repeater. This weapon is basically a Gatling laser with a bunch of vanilla assets attached to it to make it look like a Child of Adam modified weapon, and it definitely does that very well. This thing looks mean. I really like the use of the vanilla assets here to make this thing look very unique. So let's start off by playing Name That Part. From the front, we've got the Gamma Gun barrels there. That's just the standard barrels, just upscaled a little bit. And running along the barrel here is actually the Fat Man parts, um, facing upside down and meeting each other towards the middle to make a nice oval shape here, which is really nice. Makes it look like there's a little bit of uh, shielding there from the user, so that's pretty good. Anyways, so encased in there is these little fusion balls, I suppose you could call them, little spiky fusion balls. Um, they're actually found in the basement, I believe, of Mass Fusion when you pull out the Beryllium Agitator, which is actually used, like, um, in, you know, downscaled as the ammo to this. It actually uses ammo called Fission Cores, not Fusion Cores, which is a little bit of a shame. I'd rather have vanilla ammo compatible with this, but yeah, you take what you can get. Anyways, moving further back here, we've got a Gorse Rifle Recoil Compensating Stock facing backwards on the bottom there. Definitely looks good. And this whole section here is part of the Batman Merv barrel, which is nice, and there's a bit of cords there. I'm not exactly sure what they're from. Wouldn't be surprised if they're on some sort of gamma gun. Anyways, that's what this thing looks like in its overview of its, 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 its aesthetics. Got there eventually. So yeah, that's pretty good. Moving on to the receivers. What we want to do here is find the best rate of fire to this. You can give yourself a little bit of poison damage, but again, most of the enemies like radiation are kind of resistant to the whole poison thing. So I don't think that's all that useful. We can, however, boost the rate of fire with the Uranium-235 coupled receiver there. Basically doubles it, which is pretty good. Moving on to the barrel, what we can do here is just this one. It gives you a little bit of bleed damage with the um, membranes. We're not shooting terribly fast, so I don't think we'll get too much use out of that. We can chuck on a Plutonium-239, which will give you a little bit of energy damage, a little bit of damage over time. Fire damage, it would seem. The Strontium-90 barrel gives you a caustic effect, which again is more um, poison, but it actually gives you a better rate of fire too, which is useful for stacking on that DPS. We've even got a little bit of a, I think that's a targeting chip there, which is nice. So yeah, this weapon actually changes a little bit more than expected. Anyways, moving on to the sights, we can chuck on just your scavved reflex sight. That looks exactly like the standard Gatling laser reflex sight, but it is obviously scavved, so maybe it won't work quite as well. And you can upgrade the barrels to, or the muzzles to the irradiated aluminum focuser. There, I said aluminum instead of aluminium for all you American people out there. And yeah, that'll give us better range accuracy and better weight, which is pretty good. Legendary effect is there if you need it. I don't feel like we'll need it. Let's go into Gunners Plaza and um, we'll cook some people with radiation. Definitely not a war crime at all. Getting this weapon in your game is as easy as doing this. So making the fusion, the fission core, sorry, that's what it takes there. Couple circuitry, fusion core is nuclear material, and the gamma repeater requires some materials and also a Gatling laser to start that off. There you go, that's all you have to do. Also, there's a bulk recipe for this one if you feel like making more at once, which is nice. Okay, let's shoot right people. So here we are in Gunners Plaza, and this is our Gamma Repeater in first person. Looks as good as it does in third person, which that is what it looks like. We already know what this thing sort of looks like anyway, so we're going to move straight on to some gameplay here. And um, yeah, we are using uh, Iris here because she's a child of Adam, and I feel like this is a very appropriate weapon for a child of Adam to use. Now, one quirk about this weapon is it likes to leave a blanket of radiation um, where you actually get the projectile to explode. So if I just walk over here, as you can tell, we're getting irradiated like buggery. So yeah, that's pretty hazardous for our health there. You can actually um, melt that guy into a puddle of acid, which is, or just a puddle of goop, which is um, a little bit brutal. So I guess maybe super high amounts of radiation could do that to people. I doubt it, but yeah, whatever. So it looks like this thing is definitely ticking the box in terms of the power department. Obviously these guys are basic humans and they are susceptible to radiation just like I am even though I'm playing a child of Adam. Not every child is blessed with the gift of radiation immunity and for the sake of uh, keeping Iris nice and balanced I choose not to give her radiation immunity. I could, but I don't. So you do get a whole lot of radiation damage to supplement the rad damage. Radiation. Explosion damage, sorry. 
Yeah, these projectiles actually explode, dealing a lot of damage. This is why you can actually kill ghouls with the um, Ghoul Slayer's Gamma Gun, because if you don't hit them, um, you know, on the full with it, like, you can just get them with the explosive damage. But as soon as you do hit them directly with the... Uh, oh, wow, every gun is just running through here. We just decimated Captain Bridget in just a few shots here. I think that was, like, three shots. This is why I chose the Stream Team 90 receiver as well as the receiver which made us shoot faster because we're, pra we're basically unstoppable at this point. Um, just going to be super irradiated in here um, when we get the next gunners to spawn in and come through there. They're going to be um, all mutated and everything. But not full at 76 mutated. They won't gain all these crazy abilities to use on me. But, you know, it's nice. So I do have uh, more script spawns on in this mod, so that is why we're seeing so many gunners here. Usually I like to uninstall it, but I just, you know, keep forgetting. Also, we just heavily irradiated ourselves there because we got hit by that stupid thing or that thing flew in front of us. And also, I counted 120 rads a second there. So it does look like it does stack, which is a little bit terrifying. I don't think we can survive this, to be honest. This is how you pollute the gunner's home place for ages. I think I might have to take some refreshing beverages here. Okay, we are good and ready to fight once more. So yeah, worth uh, keeping that particular fact in mind that if you decide to shoot this thing a lot in one spot, you'll uh, find yourself very dead, especially if it's in a close quarter situation. So this is a weapon like other heavy weapons that is sometimes more of a danger to the user than the people you're actually shooting at, which is kind of interesting. See, that guy is just being just destroyed by all the radiation damage I'm leaving behind. Which, you know, maybe gamma guns in the vanilla game should be able to do just because, you know, maybe it would leave a little bit of gamma radiation behind to fizzle out. But yeah, it's kind of scary. Radiation legitimately scares me. I don't like it. I mean, it destroys you on a cellular level and you can't even see it. You can't even feel it. Nope. That definitely isn't for me. Maybe that's why I'm fascinated with Fallout so much, because it's everywhere. The glory of Adam. I think Iris is very happy. She's just embracing all of the Adam's glory right now. A, cap a gunner captain is saying Gar, and the subtitle's not leaving. But I think you get the point of this weapon. Very, very dangerous, but if you can use it properly, then yeah, you'll be uh, good to go. Okay, I think I got that black face glitch again, didn't I? Let's go into the light for a second. Yes, I did. Why, Todd? Why? Okay, let's test this gamma repeater on Swan here. I think we've got a ammo capacity of like 800, so yeah, I don't think we'll need to reload this thing anytime soon. We've still got plenty left to give. Righto, we'll target his torso for a second, and as according to Vatse, we won't be doing anything, so... That seems to remain true. I mean, if we kept shooting at him like this all day, we might actually get him, but for now, it doesn't actually look too good. We'll just keep on shooting him. I think it's the poison damage that's doing a little bit to him there, but I can't even see him because of this. Um, seizure warning. If anyone's prone to seizures, I suggest turning this video off right now because right now, it's just flashing my screen. I can see the wall around the screen lighting up and I, I kind of feel it in the back of my noggin like something's not right here. I'm not actually epileptic though so I, I shouldn't um, give myself a fit from this but it still makes me very uncomfortable. This is taking forever. I'm really glad that he's distracted on some sort of Milek lobster over there because I'd be buggered. Ah! Ah, it's the acid effect. It's not actually poison, it's acid. It's just listed under the same thing for some reason. But that's why we can do the damage. Let's get a crit in there, see what we can do with that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've already made it mutate, right? Please tell me we've already made it mutate. I don't know. Oh, we should get some sneak attack crits on him. Oh, wait, we can't. Oh, he's gone for the mutation. That's good. Okay, what if we kill whatever is there behind him? Is that a ghoul? What's down there? 
There we go. Finally got a reload, and Swan is coming to kick our ass. So, obviously him being immune to radiation, as indicated by that, he's not going to die anytime soon. In fact, we're probably going to die of radiation ourselves if we, um, keep this up. That is a lot of ones arising from him in the form of damage over time, so maybe we might be okay when it comes to this. We'll just walk right close to you to get some of that rad healing back. In fact, that's kind of a tactical use of the Nerd Rage perk there. Just gotta find ourselves a nice irradiated spot to regain all of our health back so that we may survive a few more hits. I can't actually tell what he's doing now, so it's hard to actually climb. Nope, we're dead. Okay, I think you get the point of this weapon. So, concluding this video, anything that is susceptible to radiation damage like humans will fall easy to this, but anything else that is um, immune to it, which is basically everything else, will pretty much just laugh at you as they enjoy the light show of you shooting them with very glowing green objects there. So I think that is about enough for the Gamma Repeater. It was a fun weapon to use all around, but its damage just makes it not very viable at all. It's basically as useful as you can get with a good, um, you know, gamma gun, with, obviously without the signal repeater from the, not the signal repeater, the Lorenzo artifact, because that just makes it a telekinetic cannon, which kills everything, but you get the point. So, it's still a nice weapon, it's kind of old right now, so I do expect this to be on Xbox One, and everyone and their mothers probably um, had a look at this before me, so I don't want to draw it out too much. Links will be in the description if you're interested. Thank you for watching, guys.